Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to show you how we make pork sandwiches on the Blackstone griddle. But first I'm going to make a sriracha mayonnaise. And you can make as much of this as you want. I don't need to make that much. So I'm going to add around a half a cup of mayonnaise. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sriracha. That right there. And I'm going to add just a little bit of minced garlic. We're going to give that a good mix. We're going to put it in the cover it, put it in the refrigerator till we get ready to use it. And this can really be to taste too. If you want it hotter, add some more. That looks good to me. And for my pork chops, you need some um, loin pork chops or pork. You need some pork loin chops. We had a uh, pork loin in our freezer so I just cut it up into about inch inch slice thick so whatever size it don't matter season it ever how you like I'm gonna add some kosher salt pepper some barbecue rub on there and a little uh, garlic powder and stuff like that so just whatever you like and then I will meet you out at the Blackstone griddle Okay, I'm out at my Blackstone griddle. We're going to heat it up. I'm going to turn it on for about five minutes, let it heat up on high. And then this side, I'm going to turn down to medium high. This will be for my pork chops, and this side will be on low, and that will be for our bread. So I'll bring you back once it gets heated up. Ain't rained or nothing all day, and now there's a little storm popping up, so we're hoping to get this done. Okay, my griddle's heated up, and I have this like on a mostly high, this side to the pork chops. And I'm going to put some oil on here. Will you hand me one of the spatulas, please? I'm going to kind of spread it around. Put that heat up for a minute, and then put my pork chops on it. Okay, now we're going to put our pork chops on. And basically, I'm start on this side. And you want to cook them till they're done. So I will bring you back when we go to flip them. And how you can tell when they're ready to flip is when it easily turns over. Okay, time to flip our pork chops. And I'll bring you back once they're done. Okay, our pork chops are done. And I'm going to take them up. Take them inside. Let them rest for a few minutes. Then I'm going to slice it up and bring them back out here. To put on there for our cheese and all the melt. But let me get my bread ready. Alright, on this side of the griddle, we're going to put our bread. You can use whatever bread you like, but I'm using sourdough. And I've buttered uh, both sides of the bread. That one's mine, because that sandwich would be too big. <laughs> and then once that side gets toasted, we'll flip it. And while Ricky's out here watching the bread, I'm going to go chop up the pork chops. Okay, our bread's almost done. Will you open this cheese, please? We're using Swiss cheese. My pork is chopped up. I'm going to put it back on this side. And I've done cut this side down to low. And now I'm going to separate it in little piles for the sandwiches. Kind of like you do in a cheese steak. But we're doing it with pork. That'll be my little pile. And Alex don't want Swiss cheese on here. Alright, just put the cheese on it. You Where? can, uh, on top. This, this is the sandwich, that's the sandwich. You might want to put two pieces on that. You can squirt a little water around it to help it uh, melt, or you can even cover it. Alright, 
put a piece on mine. That little pile's mine. And then when you cheese it till you like them, put it on your bread. Now I'm not going to put my mayonnaise on out here because I don't want my mayonnaise out here. It's too hot. So when we take them inside, I'll put it on there. But my cheese is good enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sandwich on. Just cover that up and set my sandwich in the pile. So you get the idea. Put this on there? Yes. And then put my sandwich over in the pile, huh? And then I will meet you inside with the finished product. And then you can put your sriracha mayonnaise on there. You can put you some slaw on top of there. But I'm going to eat my slaw off to the side. Alright, I'll bring you back when I get ready to try it. Alright, now time to try it. And Ricky's just going to take a bite of my sandwich too real quick. That is really good. Has a really good taste to it. Really good flavor. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment because I love hearing from you. And until my next video, or until my next Blackstone video, I hope you enjoy. This is really, really good. Bye, y'all.